Well, hello everybody. As you can see, I had to mute the soundtrack. Um, it wouldn't let me just mute out the music sections. I had to mute out the whole soundtrack to my whole video. So I'm on here uh, just narrating the whole thing. I'm leaving my house right this moment to go to uh, UPS. I had to drop off a package. And then I'm going to Chili's. Uh, one of my subscribers, Susan, had sent me a Chili's gift card uh, for my birthday. And she said, I want you to go to Chili's and get you a Quistata ex Explosions or ex Quistata Salad Explosion. So we're going to Chili's and I'm going to get that. But first, I got to drop off this package. It's right on the way. Uh, it's right behind uh, where Chili's restaurant is. So all I have to do is drop off the package, and then I'll come right back out, switch parking lots, and go into Chili's and eat. If I ever get out of my driveway here. <laughs> I hate it when I have to um, delete out my soundtracks. I mean, it's crazy. I tried to just delete out the section where the music was, but to do that, I would have to, do, it wouldn't let me just delete out or mute out just the soundtrack for that section. I had to delete the whole section, video and all, or it wouldn't let me delete any of it. But I can mute the whole soundtrack. Then I just have to come in and narrate the whole thing and tell you what I'm doing. Uh, we're going through Granbury right now, out on 377, headed to UPS and Chili's. And there goes my phone again. I think at this point I had about 24 people in live chat on the way out there and I was telling everybody how it takes so long to get through from one side of town to the other now since we've got all this traffic so many people have moved into this area they put up so many traffic lights it's ridiculous I mean years ago when we first moved here there was maybe two traffic lights in the whole town you could get from this side of town to the other side in like five or ten minutes. Now it takes you a half hour sometimes just to go a couple of miles because of the lights. But as you can see, the traffic, just in, in like 1 2 o'clock, it's terrible. And this is not even rush hour yet. <laughs> But I put up the whole uh, video, soundtrack and all, with the music, and I thought YouTube was going to monetize it, but they didn't. After it all got through processing, they did a kickback on it and said we could not monetize this video, and it's even restricted in some parts of the country because of the music that's playing that is, mon you know, that's uh, copyrighted. So... They mess up your videos if you get music playing. It's really bad. And it, straight ahead is Lake Granberry. I don't know if you can see it very well through the trees, but we're coming over uh, Lake Granberry Bridge, which takes us right over the lake. You can see out to the left uh, the lake. Can't see it very well, but if you look real good, you can set, tell that that is water out there. And my AC is running in the house when I'm doing this editing. So I know it's picking up the sound of the uh, central air unit, and I apologize for that. 
but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It's 90 some degrees here in my house or right here now at uh, 5.30 in the afternoon. So you got to have your AC on because it's a lot hotter in the house than it is outside. I mean, I'm lucky that I live so close to everything. I mean, used to it took me five minutes to get to my house to where I am right now on the screen. Now it takes me almost ten minutes because of the red lights. All the traffic lights. I had chainsaws running earlier because that's all you could hear beside my house. There's, they started clearing the lot that that realtor bought beside my lot over here and they're clearing it to build a house. So I can't wait to see what kind of house they're going to put on there, whether it's a brick home or what it's going to be. To the right of us is Home Depot, uh, Walmart Supercenter. To the left behind that gas station is Lakestone Terrace where I used to work at one time. The big retirement complex that's right on the lake. I worked in their dining room and kitchen. Because the residents that live there, the retired people, they have an option. They can either cook their own meals in their room or they can eat in the dining room and their their meals are included in their rent so they kind of be crazy to, to rent there and not eat the food in the dining room because they get breakfast lunch and dinner prepared for them all they have to do is come down to the dining room and go through the line and pick up their food This next light up here is Walgreens to the left. We're turning in that parking lot and then coming back to the left. And that's where the UPS office is and Chili's is right in front of it. So we passed Chili's already. It was about a block back on the left side. I hear traffic running outside. Oh, it's terrible. Sound like a big old truck. And I know this microphone's picking up the sound.
Sometimes it just takes forever for those red lights to change. <laughs> or it seems like it. Okay, now we're turning to the left, going into the parking lot behind Walgreens into the shopping center. We'll go down to the other end. And I don't know what that van is doing. It's just sitting there. I kept waiting on it because it was sitting at the intersection before I got there. So they actually had the right of way, but they never pulled out. They just kept sitting there. So I just went ahead and pulled out. I don't know if they're broke down or what the problem is. But you can see Walgreens to the left. There's a whole strip of shops. And then we get down to the end almost. And there's the UPS store on the right. And then Chili's is out there on the left. And there was a young lady come out of UPS with an uh, infant. And she opened the back door. And she was uh, putting the infant in the child seat. So I stopped and waited for her to get the baby safely in the seat and the door closed before I tried to pull up. That's why I stopped here. Now I'm pulling in. And I did not expect there to be a line inside of UPS. But believe it or not, folks, there was literally a line of people inside this building. I had to get in line and wait my turn. I mean, I couldn't believe UPS was that busy. I mean, you can see the people in there through the glass. That was me just went in with my big package. <laughs> it was just a little bitty one. Something that came from Amazon that I had to send back. But we waited and waited and waited and it's like, oh my God. How come it's so busy in UPS in the afternoon? And then people started getting in line behind me. It was unreal. I mean, I hated that <laughs> y'all had to sit and just look at the front of the UPS store, but I had no choice. I got in there and got in line, and I couldn't just walk out. So I stayed and waited. And thank goodness one of the girls from the back came up, and she saw how busy it was. And she came out behind from the counter with one of those little handheld machines. And she said, do you have a drop-off? And I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, well, I'll get you right over here. So we went over to the side. And she went ahead and checked my package in with that little handheld uh, computerized machine thing she had and printed out my slip on the printer and gave it to me so I was able to come out. Otherwise, I'd have still been in there in line waiting.
I don't know how long I was in there. I mean, look how many people's went in there since I went in. <laughs> I mean, I really haven't been counting, but there's been quite a few people that have went in that door since I went in. Ridiculous. And they only had one person working at the counter. And finally, another one came up. And then there was the third that took me to the side and checked mine in at the side counter. I mean, it's crazy. I guess everybody was at lunch or something. <laughs> there for a long time, I kept getting... UPS and USPS mixed up. It was confusing to me what the difference was between them. But then I realized that USPS is United States Postal Service. And what does UPS stand for? United Pers Postal Service. So I don't understand the difference in them. Why are they not together? Or am I just dumb? <laughs> Leave your comments. I'd like to know. <laughs> what is the big difference between USPS and UPS? Y'all need to enlighten me on that. What is the big difference between UPS and USPS? There I come, finally. Now maybe we can head to Chili's. <laughs> and like I said, all I had to do was back out. Pull forward a little bit and then pull right into Chili's parking lot. I didn't even have to go out on the main highway. I tried to just cut out the, the soundtrack of the section of the video that had the music in it, but... My program would not let me. It would cut out the whole video in that section. Video and audio. It wouldn't let you just delete out the audio track. I was getting frustrated with it. So finally I said, the heck with it. I'll just narrate through the whole thing. But there's Chili's building to the right. I mean, to the left, I'm sorry. And to my knowledge, there's no place you sit outside to eat at Chili's. Everything is inside. Because if I thought I could have went outside to eat and not heard the music, I would have been out there. <laughs> but yeah, they don't have outside seating. To my knowledge, they don't have a drive through window either. <laughs> And I decided I was just going to pull right around to the front like I was somebody. <laughs> and to show you how long it's been since I've been to Chili's, I forgot that they seated you. I went in and there was nobody up front. 
So I proceeded to walk over and get myself a table. And then I waited and waited and waited. Nobody ever came to wait on me. And finally, I was about to get up and find out what was going on. And a, a nice girl walked up to me and she said, have you been waited on? And I said, no, ma'am. She, she, I said, well, you know, I, she said, well, normally people see, get seated and then they take their order after they're seated. I said, well, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in here and I forgot about that you seat people. <laughs> and I just came in and walked in and got my own table. So I said, that was my fault. And then she told me the section I was sitting in was closed. And I said, well, okay, that's fine. I'll just move over to the other section. And actually, where I moved to was the same table that I sat at the last time I went to Chili's several years ago to eat. And I got my uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwich at Chili's. It was so good. But they were in the middle of switching shifts, so they were closing down certain sections of the dining room because it was after lunch. And some of the new shift people had not gotten there yet, but you can see how empty it is. It, that section was basically closed down. But I went back in there anyway. <laughs> and like I said, she finally came and told me that that section of the dining room was closed. Um, and asked me if I'd been waited on. And I told her no. And she told me where I could go sit. And it just happened to be at one of the little single tables that I sat in actually the last time I went to Chili's. And everybody in live chat loved the music they were playing. They said, well, I feel like I could go dance to that. And I said, well, Vic, just have at it. Dance all you want. <laughs> I mean, they weren't actually there, so it wouldn't matter if they got up and danced. But I ended up, I think, with about 52 people in live chat or watching during the time I was there eating. And I did get the um, Quistata salad explosion, which Susan said was so good. And it is, it was pretty good. It was a lot of food, more than I could eat. I left a lot of the lettuce there, but I ate every, mostly everything else. That's where I was looking around wondering, well, is anybody ever going to come wait on me? What's the deal? But like I said, it was my fault. I didn't wait to be seated. I just went and sat down at the table. And I was supposed to wait at the door at the entrance for them to come and, you know, actually seat me at a table and take my order or give me a menu and take my order. There were still quite a few people in there. Most of them were in the bar section, you know, sitting down eating in there. I don't usually go to the bar because I don't usually ever drink alcohol. So there's nothing in the bar section I really want. <laughs> uh, I have one over there and sat just for the heck of it and just ordered my food and, and, you know, sat in the bar section and ate. But like I said, I didn't drink alcohol. There's me showing you the rest of the restaurant. As you can see, the whole section that I was in was closed because there's no one there. <laughs> I was the only one there.
They had television screens up everywhere. And I think they even have more over in the bar section. I think that's why a lot of people like to sit over there. It's because they, they go there and they want to watch the um, ball games and different things that are on while they're eating. I don't really care anything about the ball games or anything that's playing. If I go to a restaurant, I'm more interested in eating and <laughs> what's going on in the restaurant rather than watching a TV screen. Now, if it was a car race like Indy 500, I might watch part of that. It was up on the screen while I was eating. Yeah, I'm sitting here wondering, well, where, why are they just totally ignoring me? <laughs> why don't they come take my order? <laughs> it's like, why don't they take my order? You know, I'm sitting here. Am I invisible? I'm sorry about that. I keep putting my hand up in front of the camera. And I don't mean to. And I'm talking to the people in live chat. And I was told to wave and say hello to Dennis and his grandkids because he was watching. I remember him saying in live chat the other night that he might be able to watch today and have his grandkids watch because they watch my channel too. <laughs> So I have to have the ball game on on the screen behind me over my head. I felt like an idiot when I realized that I was supposed to be waited to get seated and that's why it was taking so long for anybody to notice I was even sitting there.
that's where one of the waitresses finally realized I was sitting there and I had not been waited on. <laughs> and she was telling me that the that section was closed and was showing me where I could go sit. And it just so happened to be the same table that I sat in the very last time I went to Chili's. Because I waited till like 1.30 before I even left my house to go out there. Because I didn't want to be there during the whole big lunch rush. It was so noisy and busy. And I told her to bring me the menu because I, I just wanted to see what was on it because it had been so long since I saw a Chili's menu. And I kind of halfway thought about getting an appetizer, but then I got to thinking, there's no need to order appetizer because if I order appetizer, if I eat that, then I can't eat the salad. Because <laughs> I can't eat that much at one time. And at first, I couldn't find the salads. <laughs> I think I looked back and forth through that menu two or three times before I found the salad. And then they finally come and take my order. I said this is just as bad as when I went to Sonic. I have it been so long since I went to Sonic. I forgot that you paid at the t this little order screen right at the the car where you're parked. You don't have to give it to the little car hop. You just put your card right in the slot and pay for it yourself. And that's the same way it is at Chili's now. They got these little machines sitting on the table. And you can play games on them while you're eating or while you're waiting to be served your meal. And you also go on there to pay your bill. And I didn't know that till the, the girl showed me. If she had not showed me, I'd have been sitting there all afternoon waiting for somebody to come take my money to get, or my gift card to get paid. <laughs> I didn't know to put it in that little thing, that little machine that was on the table. I said, man, I don't get out enough. I stay home so much, I don't even know what's going on around me in the world, you know. But there is a little bit left on the card. So I'm going to have to go back to Chili's. I don't know if I'll video any of it because of the music, but I'll have to go back there another day and get something inexpensive. And I might go get something to take, take out. 
<coughs> might not go to eat in. You know, <coughs> Just might order it over the internet and then go pick it up. If I didn't know they played music like that, I, I probably would have done something like that this time. I'd ordered it, picked it up, and went to the park or somewhere to eat or somewhere down on the lake. But it was probably better to eat inside because at least it was cooler inside than it was outside. And when the little waitress did come wait on me, I told her what I wanted, and when I ordered it, oh, there, there, I'm waving at Dennis and his little grandkids, because they said he was watching. I'll say hi, Dennis and grandkids again. Thanks for watching. But when the little girl come and took my order, I told her what I wanted, and I said, I'll probably need a takeout box. <laughs> and she looked at me, she said, yeah, she said, it is a lot of food, but then everything's bigger and better in Texas. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's true. That's the one that helped me get to the table, and... But she's not the one that comes and takes my order. The one that just brought me the Coke. That Diet Coke was so good because it was wet and cold. Oh, it was! It felt so good because <laughs> I was hot. And see, I don't remember every word I said during this time, so. And I hate that when I have to mute out a track because you can't hear everything that I even say. That's where I'm ordering, I think, right there. That other little waitress come by and she's taking my order.
And there I am chatting with everybody in the live chat. We had a pretty good turnout. I think Shelly Edwards, Claire Quinn, Connie, Jones, Gladys, Pellegrino. It was quite a few in, in live chat. And that was where I was kind of bouncing around because of the music playing. Some of the subscribers in live chat were saying, oh, we need, I feel like dancing. You can dance to this music. And I was telling them to go ahead, get up and dance. <laughs> See, if it would have let me just delete out part of the recording, the audio, I could have played all of it before I went in the restaurant and then played all of the recording after I came out of the restaurant, and it would have been fine. Just delete the soundtrack while I was inside. But my program kept not letting me do that. Every time I deleted out the soundtrack, it would delete out the video in that section, and I didn't want the video part deleted out. So I gave up, came back, and just muted the whole soundtrack. Nothing I like better than just having to sit and wait at the table for your food. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying here, but I know I was having a good time. <laughs> And when I did get served, they served you a little cup of um, dressing for your salad. And I was using it as a dipping sauce for my, um, oh, what do you call those things? Um, Quistadas, the little tortillas that are put together.
I didn't realize till a little while later that that was the actual salad dressing for my salad. <laughs> but it was good. Look at there. Don't that look good? That's a lot of food, y'all. No way I need all that. But they didn't give me any silverware. They brought me my plate of food. They brought me my Diet Coke. But no silverware to eat with. Now I am asking for some silverware. <laughs> That was good dipped in that salad dressing, whatever kind it was. It was pretty good, that Quistata Explosion Salad. It is pretty good. That waitress that just walked by, she gets in a conversation with me at the end. She, she helps me figure out how to pay my bill with that little machine that <laughs> was sitting on the table. And she was saying that she just got started in gardening and pots and totes and stuff. and Because she had little kids at home. And she was interested in growing some of her own vegetables because they're so expensive at the store. I've always been self-conscious about sitting and eating in front of other people. 
I don't mind it if you're sitting there and you're eating too, but just to have people watching me eating makes me feel kind of weird. <laughs> But that salad was pretty good. And I love the salad dressing. I don't know what kind it was, but it was good. It looked almost like it was chocolate. It reminded me of the color of chocolate. can tell it was good. I couldn't quit eating it. <laughs> it had chicken strips, grilled chicken, corn, a little, um, I don't know what they call those things. They look like fried onions, the looks of them, but they're not fried onions. I wish all of you that were watching me and in live chat could have been at Chili's with me to help me eat, join in with me eating. But it was a lot of fun being able to chat with everybody while I was eating at Chili's. That was my... Chili's breakfast, lunch.
not bref my birthday lunch what am i talking about <laughs> I think I, it left me about $4 on the card after I ate there today. Counting what I got and the tip, I think it was 25 something. was good it was fun first time i've been to chili's in quite a few years because i just haven't been going out to eat I mean, dipping that in that sauce again, that was so good to dip it. I've never had that type of uh, salad dressing before. I don't know what kind it was, but it was good. It looked like chocolate, but it didn't taste like chocolate. Uh, it had a vinegary taste to it. There I'm saying hi to Dennis and his ba his grandchildren. I think he said that age they reign from ages from two to eleven. So hi Dennis and your grandchildren.
I don't remember what I was talking about at this particular time. I was chatting with somebody in live chat, but I don't remember who. But I do remember I had 52 people watching while I was live. That was pretty good. It goes me dipping it again. That was some good stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the live chat, see who's coming in, but on the camera, the chat keeps fading away, so you only have a few seconds to read a chat, and then it disappears, and then you have to wait till it comes back again. I hope the next time I use one of my cards to go out and eat, I don't have to mute the soundtrack because it takes a lot out of the whole video when you can't hear the actual soundtrack. They everybody talked me into going to the garden center after I leave Chili's. We went to Lowe's, looked at all the plants, and it was hot out there. <laughs> People don't realize how hot it gets in Texas. And I have to apologize for my um, central air unit coming on so much, but it's hot in here. I'm trying to edit the video and... It keeps coming on to cool things down. 
and I know it's picking up the sound in the video. was a lot of food y'all takes me forever to even eat part of it Sorry about that. I've got a real sensitive uh, microphone. That Diet Coke, I think, was better than the food. <laughs>
Y'all know that was good or I wouldn't be eating it like I was eating it. And that's where I asked her for a takeout cup. Because I ordered a refill on my Coke. Because I really wanted it to go, but I didn't tell her that to begin with. But they brought me a big enough cup that it held that whole glass.
<coughs> yeah, they brought me the refill Coke, and then I asked them for a cup. So then they're going to bring me a cup to pour it in. Which I asked her, I said, I, I guess you don't have takeout cups, do you? And she says, oh yeah, I'll bring you one. <clears throat> so that made my day. Because I knew I would want that Coke when I was out there walking around in the heat. And that's where she was showing me how to work the machine to pay my bill. And I think that's where I was telling her that I was live on YouTube. Because she asked me, was I on Facebook or something? I said, no, I'm live on YouTube right now. And she says, oh, and I've been walking behind you. <laughs> and that's when she told me that she was growing um, stuff in pots. She just got started. And she's got, you know, little kids at home. There I was fixing my coat to go. <clears throat> and then everybody started saying they wanted to go to Lowe's.
<clears throat> and that's where I was talking with the people in live chat. They were telling me, let's go to Lowe's. Let's go to Lowe's Garden Center. Not as another storm warning, I hope. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning and severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for, and tornado warning has been issued for my area. Tornado watch and, yeah, so, but for some reason it got hung up on the phone, but they sent me a text message. So we're going to leave uh, Chili's and go to Lowe's Garden Center. I really had my doubts about going there because it was so hot mid-afternoon. Basically the hottest time of the day here. But we went and the wind was blowing just a tiny bit so that helped keep things cooled off a little bit.
we could see Lowe's sign on the right left as we passed it. I got to turn around and come back up to get on the other side of the highway. And there's a Chick fil A on the left. <coughs> No, that's um, a Whataburger. Next to a car wash. That's usually the car wash I go to. And Lowe's is right up here on the right. If I don't pass it again. <clears throat> I'm taking y'all sightseeing because I passed Lowe's. <laughs> I came all the way up to Aldi's. <laughs> there's a bank right there. And then there's Aldi's right there next to it. <coughs> Now maybe we'll make it to Lowe's. <laughs> I gotta go back the way we came. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'm sorry, y'all. I've been working in the yard all morning, so I've been breathing stuff I'm allergic to. And that's why I'm coughing so much now. We'll make it to Lowe's this time. Panda Express and Lowe's right there. I'll have to turn around and come back to get on the other side of the highway to get in their parking lot. <clears throat> See, we're back to Whataburger <laughs> and the car wash. <clears throat> I 
This is Lowe's parking lot, y'all. We're going around to the garden center. And I'm sorry, I think I had the camera turn around the wrong way in the beginning. When I was first started showing the plants, I thought I was showing them to you and I think I had the turn the camera turn around toward me and I didn't know it because the sun was on the screen and had the screen in black to where I couldn't show or see what I was showing you. You know, right now I'm showing you my neck and my <laughs> my face instead of the plants. I'm sorry about that. But that sun was so bright you couldn't see the screen on the camera. I'll get it turned around in a minute when I realize what I did. <laughs> Believe you me, I don't want you seeing my ugly face on there so much. All oh, the roses are so pretty. I love roses. <clears throat> <coughs> mm. I finally realized I had the camera turned the wrong way. All of those baskets were really pretty, but oh my goodness, they were expensive, a lot of them. They had some discounted. Not all of them, but some were. But they're five ninety seven a plant, y'all. And that's for the little bitty pots. And there's those mosquito plants. I don't know what citronella. They're supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. I had one on my porch one time. I couldn't tell any difference. The mosquitoes were still there. I fell in love with those hanging baskets, but oh my god, they're expensive. They had mandevilla vines in them. I said they'd be so pretty hanging from the canopy over the garden, as long as the wind didn't turn the top over again and 
throw them somewhere. <clears throat> and I still haven't got my flag put up on my flagpole. Those were annuals, and they are pretty, but, you know, they're not perennials. They don't come back the following year. They were the most less expensive thing there, $1.97 for each plant. But they were sure pretty. Finally, we're going inside the garden center, which, I mean, it's in an enclosed area, but still, it's open. You know what I mean. It's got fences around it, but the it's still open to the air and everything, the sun. It is a little shaded in there walking around, though, which helps. I thought that was so pretty. That would be so pretty if I could get something like that to grow at the base of the clematis vines that go up the arbor. It would help uh, shade the roots and the pot to keep the dirt cool. So far, I haven't get, gotten been able to get much to live in the bottom of the pot. That's pretty, the white mandevilla. It tickled me. I got to talking with one lady here at the back of the store, and she was looking at the clearance rack where I ended up going. And she said some friends of her told her that she liked shopping on the trash pile. <laughs> That's what she called the, the clearance rack for the plants was the trash. She said, you always go shopping in the trash pile for your plants. But you know what? The only thing wrong with the ones I have on clearance is they've outgrown their pots. And if you don't get them out of their pot and put them in a bigger pot, it, they're going to die because they're root bound. That's the only reason they put them on sale because they got to get in a bigger pot. 
And that woman, see that big plant right there beside her? She just almost put her hand on it. She got that one down because that's the one she bought. It's normally $49, and it went for 50% off. And it was a beautiful plant. I didn't want to spend that much, so I didn't get one like that. And I don't have anywhere to put one like that anyway, because it needs to go probably on your porch or in your house, and I don't have room for it. But she bought that big one she's standing beside, and quite a few other ones. There was a rose bush right there. <laughs> I don't remember how much it cost normally, but basically everything was 50% off or almost 50% off. I think I showed the sign that has the prices on it in a minute. Yeah, you know, all those plants are just getting root bound and they know if they don't sell them and people put them in transplant and put them in bigger pots, they're going to die. That's why they reduce them down for, for quick sale is so people will buy them and go ahead and put them in bigger pots. It's the only thing wrong with them. That's usually where I buy most of my plants is on the clearance rack <laughs> or the trash pile as that lady called it. You can find some good plants back there. I don't need any more aloe vera, that's for sure. I got a ton of aloe vera already. They don't make it easy for you to get around those racks back there either. You got so much stuff piled up against them. That was so pretty, <laughs> but I didn't have anywhere to put something like that. $31 normally, and you would get it for $15, $16. But it had pretty plants in it. And this is the rack I found my Mandevilla plants on. I paid six ninety seven for the two that I bought. And they had them on sale where you could get them for $4 a piece. So I think I bought two white and two red Mandevilla. And now I'm not sure where I'm going to plant them. <laughs> But I couldn't resist the sale. A lot of those plants just can't handle this Texas heat. See, there's the discount prices. If it's $15 and up, you get 15% off or 50% off. Like six ninety seven, dollars you, you get it for $4. I think if it was below $4, you got it for $1 or $2, something like that.
think that's where I found the Mandevilla. They were on that bottom shelf. Right at the corner there. Oh, me. Here they go. I just picked one up. I think I picked all of them up, of the Mandevillas they had down there to see what color they were. But they were all either white or yellow. So I got two white and two yellow. No, I mean uh, two yellow and two red. I'm sorry. When I bought one the other day for full price at Home Depot, it was a white one. Because I had two yellow already. And I was trying to see if I could get... Oh, I bought two yellow. I have two yellow and one white. So I didn't mind getting the red because I don't have the red. But then I was looking for another color that I didn't have and all they had was yellow. That were discounted. And I got to get them planted in something. I got them sitting out there in one of the buckets at the top. So they got rained on yesterday, so it helped water them. And it tickled me. The whole time I was looking at the plants, I was talking to people in chat. And that lady kept saying, are you talking to me? I said, no, ma'am, I'm talking to somebody on my phone here. <laughs> I guess she thought I'd lost my mind. I was walking around talking to somebody on my phone, and she kept thinking I was talking to her. Little did she know I was on YouTube live. I knew if I went in Lowe's Garden Center, I'd get in trouble. I can hardly go to a garden center, especially if they got a sale on some of the plants, and come out without without buying anything. So I spent some of my birthday money on uh, plants, Mandevilla plants. See, I got four of them. <laughs> two yellow, two red. And then I was looking for pots, hanging baskets. I did not find any hanging baskets in there for sale at all, just the basket. They had plenty of pots, but they were not hanging baskets unless they had flowers in them already. So I finally got tired of looking, and I think I gave up. But I'm still back at the plants right now, I'm still looking at those, trying to decide if I want the mandevillas or not. <laughs>
So there I am going around the rest of the store looking to see what was there and seeing what kind of pots they had to sell individually that did not already have flowers or some kind of plant in them. I mean, this Texas heat, when it hits June, July, and August, is unmerciful on plants or anything outside. So there's the four I decided to get. They had some pretty pots in there, but they were expensive, and they were none hanging hanging baskets. If you got a hanging basket, you had to buy one with the plant in it already. see me looking around through the pots and there just was not any there So I'm making my round throughout the store looking for baskets. Never did find any. And I almost went in the store just to cool off, but I don't think I did.
Wasn't too many people shopping today, I guess because it's so hot. Especially not in the garden center. Back looking at the plants. I need to get myself out of there. <laughs> I get myself in trouble when I'm getting there looking at plants. So I was debating whether to get that hanging basket that was on sale. I think it was like half price or it was marked down to seven dollars I don't remember which It's fun just walking around Lowe's looking at the plants. But see, I'm back at the discount rack again. <laughs> I need to get out of there. I don't need to spend the money. I don't have it. I've got so many plants now, I don't know what to do with all of them. Here I am buying more. Yeah, just, you got enough. Just low, go. Get out of the store. <laughs> you don't need anything else, Linda. Get out of there. Linda, quit looking at the plants. Just get your four Mandevilla plants and get out of the store before you buy something you don't absolutely need to spend money on. I'll put that hanging basket back. Just wait and see. I wanted the basket, but I decided, no, I don't want to buy the plant and everything to get the basket.
<laughs> the other lady came back to that rack too. <laughs> there was like four or five racks back there with sail plants on them. I think I've already put that hanging basket back. Yeah, I did. The ferns were in nice hanging baskets, but I didn't want to buy a fern to get the basket Sorry about that. I don't know what I've got camera on right now. I bought those kind of little hanging baskets before, but they're good for the summer. You buy them, but then by the next year, they're broke. They'll freeze in the wintertime, and then that plastic cracks. So you have to replace them the following year. I'm right back at the clearance rack, y'all. <laughs> I need to get my butt out of that store. Can't take me anywhere. Cannot take me anywhere. Now, what am I looking at? <laughs> I need to get away from that clearance rack. I don't need to be looking at it no more. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm showing you that one's already vining out, so it'll grow. I've only got two there, but I go back and I get two more. I get two yellow and two red. And then I get myself out of the Lowe's Garden Center before I get myself in any more trouble. I said I just couldn't pass up $4 a piece. I mean, not when I, they normally cost 7 for the little ones. And they grow fast.
I leave here and I go to Dollar Tree to see if they have those wire baskets. Because, you know, they have, sometimes I've seen the hanging wire baskets in there with the cocoa core lining. But usually when I see them, they're in somebody's hand going to the register. And by the time I get to the counter, there's none left. So if you don't catch those when they first come in the store, you don't usually get them. Yeah, I'm making my way to the front. I'm fighting temptation to buy anything else. Thank goodness. Y'all get me out of here. And it don't pay me to stand in line at the register because then I'll end up leaving the line and go back and look some more. And I don't need to do that. Am I going to stay in line or am I going to end up leaving and go looking some more? I better stay in line. Better not leave that line. I'm surprised I haven't left the line already. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it out of the store this time. <laughs> Thank God I'm checking out, y'all. <laughs> I'm checking out. I didn't, I, I fought temptation. I didn't go back in there looking for anything else. <laughs> it does not pay me to go in stores. I spend money and I shouldn't be. Should not spend money you don't have to spend. Now, we're off to Dollar Tree. I hope I don't find anything in Dollar Tree to buy. I don't need to be buying nothing else in Dollar Tree.
Let's get this basket turned back in. I don't need it. I hate leaving it in the parking lot, so I usually push it back up to the store or either in a corral where they have spaces to put your carts. And we're off. We're off to Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree is only about a block away, so don't take long to get there either. See, I mean, just look at the traffic. Mid-afternoon on Friday. And I think school is out as of today for the holidays. For the summer, basically. I think it's out for today.
have to go all the way around the bush to get to the root. Have to get back out on 377 and get down toward where Walmart is because Dollar Tree is just right beside Walmart. On the same side of the street. You ever sat at a red light like this and just want so bad to gun the engine and just run through the red light and get out of there rather than just sit there and wait? <laughs> the thought has entered my mind very many times, but I don't actually do that because I know I could get in trouble or get in an accident. But I do get tired of sitting at the red light sometimes. And I'm sure most of you do as well. Not a whole lot we can do about it, but deal with it. Got to give everybody their equal turn. Finally, who? Got a Taco Bell. Dollar Tree is kind of just right behind Taco Bell. Right beside Walmart's parking lot. And I think there's a Slosky's there too. And we're at Dollar Tree, where everything used to be a dollar, or basically a dollar. Now the lowest price you pay in there is a dollar twenty-five, and it goes up to five and ten dollars depending on what you buy. But I have no idea that they've got those hanging baskets in there I'm looking for. 
I was in there yesterday, but I didn't look for hanging baskets, but I didn't see any. But like I said, usually if they get those in, they're gone the first day they have them in. Because the ladies, if they see them, they buy them. They're gone. It's one thing that does not stay in that store is those wire hanging baskets with the cocoa core lining. And that's the shelf where all the garden stuff is, or most of it, the pots. All different size pots. Steaks. And I found a little footstool, a collapsible one. And it was only $5, and I think I paid like 10 or $12 online when I bought mine. But they don't have the wire hanging baskets that I'm looking for. I still am wondering about why that bottom of those pots are made like that. It looks like it's to sit down over a fence or something. I don't know. Doesn't make sense why the bottom would be made that way. And I found a clear dome. You can take the plug out of the top of it. And it would work just like using those big two liter drink bottles that you cut the bottoms out of, turn them upside down, take the lid off, and put them over your plants as a dome to protect them. It's like a mini greenhouse, and that's the way that bell dome would work. And I almost bought a couple of those. I've been thinking about buying those ever since I started getting them in, and I haven't bought any yet. I guess because I really don't know where I would put them if I had them. But I'm going to go around here and get me a couple of packages of freezer bags. And then I think I'm going to get out of this store before I find something else I need to spend money on. But I am out of freezer bags, so I need to get some. I have a lot of nice things in our Dollar Tree here, and it's a pretty good sized store. They've got the 10 gallon totes for Let me make sure I'm getting freezer bags. I don't read regular bags, but I need a couple of packages of freezer bags.
and I was looking at those little bowls. They're only a dollar twenty-five each for little buddy, another food dish and a water bowl. But they're kind of deep, and I was not. I was thinking really I didn't want one that deep for him a little bowl. And then there was a couple down here at the bottom that were not deep, real deep. And the only reason I was getting them is because they're kind of heavy. They're ceramic. And they don't go all over the floor when little buddy's eating. They stay in one place. Where the little lightweight plastic ones, when he goes to eat, he kind of chases it across the floor. Or all over the porch. <laughs> There's my freezer bags. And I'm holding the camera, so I'm one-handed. I can only do something with my right hand one hand my left hand because I'm holding the camera right-handed right now Well, I got my freezer bag, so I think it's time to go head back to the house. A little Dollar Tree is a very popular place in Greenberry. The Dollar Tree is too. Oh, not the Dollar Tree, the Den General Dollar or Dollar General. And then we've got, um, can't think of it. I used to work there for a seasonal, but I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> I hardly ever go there since I don't work there anymore. That's a Slosky's that was in front of there. Big Lots is what I was trying to think of. We got a Big Lots to the right, but I'm turning to the left. I used to work there, and they have some pretty good prices there, too, but they're a little bit higher than uh, Dollar Tree and Dollar General and places like that. Just depends on what you're looking for.
story of my life stopped at a red light. I'm trying to be funny, y'all. Oh, I was going up to show you the Synergy, which is a Cinemaplex. And I noticed they took all the signs down of the movies on the building. But I went online and you can still book uh, your movie depending on what movie's showing at what time. And then they all start at the same time. The second movie start at the same time. And then as soon as the second movie starts, they lock the front doors. So evidently you don't pay for the tickets inside anymore. You or, you pay for your ticket online in advance to reserve your seat and then you go. Because all of their billboards are down. Used to that whole building was full of billboards showing what was, you know, the movies were. So it almost made me think they were closed up, but as soon as I got home I looked on the internet and sure enough they're still open. You just buy your tickets online. I guess because they don't have that many employees inside anymore. Same way with most places. Most places don't have enough people working. And it's made it hard. But they, they remodeled that Cinemaplex. And it's got reclining automatic chairs it's got little tables up to your chair so if you order a meal you can sit in there and watch the movie and you've got a table just put your plate on and stuff like that but it's a lot comfortable now for me to sit because it's got a foot rest that you can adjust to any height you want it when you you know you recline your chair so it's more comfortable for me now but they charge more per ticket I guess to pay for the expense they went to to remodel. So we're headed back home. I think we've had a pretty full day of it. And I got so much to do when I get home. And y'all, we got a thunderstorm. I had thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings issued just 15 minutes ago.
And to the left up there, that is that retirement center. It's a new uh, apartment complex that went up for retired people only. They have a dining room, so included in your rent, you get your meals, or you can cook in your room or your apartment, either one, but it's right on the lake, so everybody has a lake view. I think they even have a shop inside, too. But I think that's the newest one of the uh, senior apartment complexes that have went up and just recently opened. <clears throat> We're coming up on 144 overpass. That's the road I need to get on to go back to my house. Usually that medium out there is just full of blue bonnets, but the blue bonnets have already come and gone now. So it's about time for them to go out there and mow it up because everything has went to seed. It was full of wildflowers and blue bonnets. So pretty. And coming up to the left, we've got McDonald's, Whataburger, not Whataburger, Burger King. We've got Taco Bell. We've got a Mexican restaurant on the right. I'm trying to think of that other restaurant. There's a Pizza Inn or Pizza Hut. See the McDonald's sign. And then there's a Brookshire's shopping center right there to the left. To the right, you go down, turn in, to the right and go down a block and there's another shopping center. There's a Goodwill Chinese restaurant in the corner of that shopping center here on the left. It's a newspaper office we just passed on the left. There's a Dollar General. That's the closest one to my house. Car wash. Gas station. Another little shopping center. Rock Harbor entrance is up here to the left. Just past this little strip mall. And veterinarian office. And there's another little gas station here in the entrance to Squaw Creek State Park, where I go fishing sometimes, is on the left. Stumpy's is coming up on the left. That's that restaurant that has those really good hamburgers and catfish. And that's within five minutes of my house. You can see the rooftop of it. We have to go across this bridge, which it goes across the lake again. Granberry Lake.
and then just a little ways down again and you will come to the red light where we exit this highway to get on the next one that goes to my house. Got Lakeside Baptist Church on the right, the old one. They used the building, but it's not for the church anymore. It's for uh, church functions or other things. The new church is up on the hill. You'll see that just as we turn. That's like a $12, $13 million church up on the hill. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> it's to the right. The entrance is where those white pillows are up there. And then the church is up on the hill to the right past the trees. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see it from there. Here's the entrance to where I live. There's one of the new brick homes to the right at this intersection that they just built. Can't barely see just part of it, but there's a brick home there. And we're home, y'all. <laughs> Whoopity do, we're home. I don't tear up the camera getting it out of the car. Well, I'm telling everybody here, it's been fun. I enjoyed my birthday lunch. I enjoyed the shopping.